My name is Gabriel Jasper from the Jasper Spine Institute. We're going to talk about endoscopic discectomy with foraminotomy and annuloplasty today. We're going to talk about mostly the reasons why you should have this done and not major surgery. I'd like to elaborate on the fact that today there is a very small percentage of patients that really need to go to open spine surgery, mainly because of the development of endoscopic spine surgery. Over the last 10 years, the endoscopic instruments, the endoscope, the instruments used actually to do the procedure, has improved tremendously. The optics, the visualization, this is all done on a direct visualization endoscopically. A patient who needs endoscopic discectomy is a patient who suffers from sciatica pain caused by foraminal stenosis or spinal stenosis. These are common terminologies that even the lay people understand. Basically low back pain and pain radiating down the leg. And we're talking about the lumbar spine here, the lower back. I did a little drawing myself to facilitate the understanding of endoscopic discectomy for the patient. When my patients come into my office and they get to the point where they need endoscopic discectomy, I drew these pictures to make it easy for them to understand what's going on. For example, this is a patient who has most commonly a herniated disc, bone spurs, and this is a neuroforamina. This is a part of the spine where the nerve comes out of. To understand it even easier, here's the spine and here is the nerve that comes out of the neuroforamina. It's actually the hole where the nerve comes out of the spine. That's called the neuroforamina. And the nerve is called the exiting nerve root. We also have an essential part of the canal, the traversing nerve roots, spinal cord, when you have central canal stenosis, it can put pressure in that area. These can all be treated endoscopically. You don't need major spine surgery to treat this. It's all about physics. It's all about mechanics. If you have a nerve that is being pinched, like this nerve here, by a herniated disc, the patient doesn't need a fusion. All you need to do is remove that herniation has put pressure on that nerve. The nerve pressure is relieved, the patient feels good. Very simple. This is not rocket science, and this is what I tell my patient. Mechanics, physics, pinch nerve, unpinch the nerve, the pain goes away, very simply. This is a pinch nerve, which is red, herniated disc, and bone spurs. Of course, if you're a younger, patient, you're not going to have bone spurs, you're going to have a pinched nerve pushing the nerve up against a bone, pinching the nerve, causing sciatic pain, back pain. What I do is I make an incision. Here's the size of the incision. It's less than a half an inch long, approximately four millimeters. Very small. I make the incision. After I make the incision, I introduce an endoscope which this is the exact diameter of the endoscope, smaller than the size of this pen. Introduce it into that small incision that I made. I can actually see that herniation on a very large high definition monitor TV screen. On the direct visualization, I introduce instruments through the working channel. I can see the instruments through the camera. I see the herniation, I grab the herniation, I pull the herniation out. Once I pull the herniation out, the herniation is gone, and you no longer have pressure on the nerve where the herniation used to be. Then I inspect the area. I might see some bone spurs. When I see the bone spurs or any other physical object putting pressure on the nerve, I inspect it, I see it, and I can introduce laser, I can introduce 
reamers, I can induce drills, shrills, chisels, anything it takes to take down this these bone spurs and decrease the size of the bones that have over time with with arthritis has created pressure on that nerve. I re once I remove that, I can honestly say that at this level, it's very rarely used in medicine, but this is a cure. Physically, there is no more pressure on that nerve. Mechanically, there's no more pressure on that nerve. That nerve is free. I can see endoscopically on the direct visualization that that nerve is floating. It's pulsating with the heart. It's pulsating with the respiratory. This nerve is free. The, the procedure is done. Once the procedure is done, the patient goes home with a little Band-Aid. There's no sedation. Well, there's no general anesthesia. There is sedation with local anesthetic. But the important fact here is there's no general anesthesia. It's a one-day surgery. The patient goes to the recovery room and is discharged to go home.